The following is an exclusive sports presentation of Idaho's News Channel 7. In whatever the sport, regardless of the time of year, Boise State, Idaho is always special. Tonight, the rivalry is renewed. The Broncos hope to continue their recent success over the Vandals, while Idaho looks to play the part of spoiler. The first of two showdowns in 2007 is tonight from Moscow. The Broncos and the Vandals tip it off next. The blue and orange are coming your way. Seven Sports brings you Boise State University Bronco Basketball. Welcome to the Cowan Spectrum inside the Kibbe Dome in Moscow, where tonight the rivalry is renewed. The Boise State Broncos looking for their 11th straight win over the University of Idaho. Hello again, everybody. I'm David Augusto. Alongside, as always, Brian King. And uh, this game, interesting in that Idaho has struggled this year. They've only won three games, but it is a rivalry game. Anything can and usually does happen. Yeah, David, you're right. You love it when these two teams get together. A great rivalry. Boise State's really struggled on the road. Idaho's struggled everywhere. Only three wins, but it's the rivalry game. And like last year, the Vandals took them to double overtime before Boise State finally got the win. There will be some excitement here tonight. For the Broncos, a couple of guys have been playing well as of late. Tyler Tiedemann and Anthony Thomas, and we expect them to have another big game here tonight. Well, of course, the Broncos hope so. Tiedemann's come out of the gate strong, but has gotten himself in early foul trouble. Anthony Thomas, what a great story. He has been 21 points last week. He's playing great. He's going to have to slow down Keone Watson, fourth leading score in the WAC, 17 and a half points a game. As he goes, the Vandals go. Slow him down. I like their chances to get the 11th straight over the Vandals. All right, the Broncos have had their way over Idaho. The last Vandal win in this series coming in 2001. Coach Greg Graham has never lost to Idaho. We'll see what happens tonight. It's the Broncos on the road. Vandals and Boise State tip off coming up next. Cowan Spectrum, University of Idaho, Boise State, always a lot of fun. Fans already fired up. And uh, the Broncos, again, looking for their 11th straight win over the Vandals. And let's set the table now and introduce your PDC players' introductions, the starters for tonight's game. First for the voice, uh, visiting Boise State Broncos up front, familiar starting lineup. Tiedemann, Nelson, Larry in the backcourt, Eric Lane, and Kobe Carl. Greg Graham is the head coach in his fifth season at the Bronco helm, a record of 76 and 67 with the Boise State Broncos. Now for the homestanding Idaho Vandals. Here's the starting five. Michael Crow, Darren Nagel, David Jackson across the front line. And there you see the backcourt, Keone Watson, the man to look for. And the head coach for the Vandals in his first year, taking over for Leonard Perry, George Pfeiffer, 3-16 and 16 so far this season with the Vandals. So David, we talked about the rivalry game. The students are out in full force tonight. This should be a lot of fun. Let's take a look at the series record. Boise State leads all time 43-37. They've been playing every year since 1971. BSU, as I mentioned, on a 10-game winning streak in this series. Last Bronco win, a double overtime thriller in Taco Bell Arena last March. The last Vandal win came in February of uh, 2001 here in Moscow. That was the year before Gray Graham arrived. He's 8-0 against the Vandals. Well, you got to like those numbers. He's got to feel pretty good coming in with uh, eight in a row. And uh, team, against a team that's only won three games. But we did talk about it earlier also. This team has played better lately. Had Louisiana and a tech at the buzzer. Had a shot to beat him and just rolled out. So, uh, you know, like I said, rivalry game. Anything can happen tonight. And you mentioned the Vandals have been playing better, particularly at home. They beat Hawaii here about a week and a half ago, and they have been very competitive lately at home. And this is a young team for George Pfeiffer, only four returners from a year ago, 10 newcomers, so they're still trying to build this program with a lot of new faces, and uh, it's an ongoing process for Idaho coach George Pfeiffer. Yeah, well, certainly never easy as a first-year coach to come in with guys who aren't your players, guys you didn't recruit. Uh, to get things done, and uh, they feel pretty comfortable where they're at. Some signings they've already made for next year, and they, uh, they feel pretty good. So uh, 
Let's see what happens. We'll get it going. As for the Broncos, they come in with a 10-8 and record and look to continue some positive momentum coming off a couple of home wins. Of course, it got started a week ago against Hawaii with over 10,000 at Taco Bell Arena, and then on Thursday, a very positive win against a good Fresno State team. Yeah, it really was. A number of quality wins. And, of course, the uh, the great game they played at Utah State, a great 38 minutes, only to let it slip away down the stretch. But this team is really one of the better teams you're going to see with only 10 wins. No question. And you can go down the record for the Broncos. Six games, they easily could have won the majority of those coming on the road. And there you see the road has been a struggle. Polar opposites. <laughs> when it comes to playing at home and on the road. However, as you mentioned, Brian, they have been very competitive, and they do have to take a lot of positives from the Utah State game with the majority of the game really being dominated by the Broncos with the exception of the last two minutes. Yeah, Dave, that's right. And of course, they played at Washington State, nationally ranked Washington State, had them down three with just a few seconds to go and let that slip away. So, again, this team is capable of good things. And when you're on the road, sometimes all it takes is to get a couple of wins. And once you get a couple... You get over that hump a little bit, a lot more confidence. They seem to come a little bit easier. And we mentioned, Brian, as we get ready for the player introductions here at the Cowan Spectrum, the Broncos only having won one game on the road this year and letting the one at Utah State get away. They clearly, this is a must-win game for them with road games looming in Las Cruces, in Fresno, down the stretch here. This is a game they clearly should win and have to win as you take a look at the standings. Yeah, David, that's right. You know, I don't know, must win is probably harsh words, but I'd probably agree with you. I think it is a must win, and uh, let's see if they can get it done tonight because you see Nevada at 6-1. and one. They have to go to Nevada. They have to go to Las Cruces. Um, you know, Reggie Thea is really getting it done at New Mexico State, winning 15 out of his last 16. So a tough task ahead, ahead for Boise State. Hopefully they'll get it started tonight. And so critical as you see the standings for the Broncos to finish in that upper half in terms of seeding for the tournament and wanting to avoid those heavy heavyweights early in the conference tournament give yourself a chance to go deep and then you get into a semifinal situation in the tournament and anything can happen as you take a look at this week in the WAC. Fresno bouncing back from the Bronco loss by beating San Jose State. New Mexico State continues to look very, very good under Reggie Theus. And there you see the Bronco win over Fresno State. And Nevada, of course, a top 25 team continues to roll. And there's the other WAC game scheduled for tonight. La Tech in Fresno. Utah State visiting Nevada. That should be a great one. And New Mexico State in Silicon Valley taking on the Spartans. As we are ready for some basketball. I like those unis, David. The Bronco orange looks good. Looks very sharp on the road. Pretty good crowd here tonight at the uh, Spectrum. Vandals going with their home silver uniforms. Of course, the official colors for the Vandals, silver and gold. Yeah, you stumped me with that before the game. I thought it was black and gold. It apparently is not. It is <laughs> silver and Vandal gold. There's tonight's officials, Lonnie Dixon, Mike Girantano, and Greg Burks. As we are underway here at the Cowan Spectrum. Boy, right out of the gate, great play by Carl. Larry got beat on the tip. Kobe just went and stole it. That was a really heads-up play. Tiedemann in the corner. Reggie Larry. Inside to Reggie Larry. And Larry can't hit his first rebound Vandals. Darren Nagel, here come the Vandals. O.J. Aboro. Sorry, David, keep your eye at number five, Keone Watson. He likes to catch it and shoot it as fast as he can. That's Watson. Big fella, Nagel. Nagel, a nice, active, long player. Posts up hard. Averages about 12 a game. They like to go to him. Trying to get it inside. Here come the Broncos. Kobe Carl. Carl for three, and he misses his first shot, but Matt Nelson there for the rebound. Eric Lane now. Good decision by Lane. Reset. Kobe, tough shot. Can't get it to go, gets his own putback. Well, Keone Watson ended up on Carl, and there is no way Watson can handle Carl anywhere. Inside, outside, doesn't matter. If that's the matchup, 
we're going to see the rest of the way. I like the Broncos' chances. That's Watson in the lane. The floater no good. Rebound Nelson. You already just saw Watson's quickness right there to get five people. Tyler Tiedemann. Rebound Vandals. This is O.J. Avoro. Watson listed at 5'10", probably closer to 5'7". This is Avoro. David, if he's 5'10", you're six foot. <laughs> and at 180, I don't think so. That's about 150 he's packing. David Jackson pulls it out. Shot clock approaching 10 seconds here. David Nagel. Double team in the block. Looks like the Broncos will double that when it goes in. Rebound Reggie Larry. And the near steal by Jackson. This is Kobe. Kobe throws it away. Well, not the pace the Broncos want to play at. Of course, that is the place that I don't want to play at. Great move by Watson. Can't finish. Here comes Eric Lane. Blocked by Darren Nagel. Boy, the crowd really wants into this thing early. Michael Crow for three. Very obvious that Idaho is into this game right out of the get-go. You can tell by the emotion. And a foul on Matt Nelson under the basket. David, I haven't seen so much emotion out of the first basket of a basketball game in my life. My goodness. We'll see the block. Of course, Nagel, real athletic, long guy. Lane thinks he can beat it. And, of course, that turned into a three-pointer at the other end. And this place uh, came alive. And pretty good <laughs> atmosphere here at the Cowan Spectrum. Really is. Nice turnout by the Vandal Nation tonight. Reggie Larry. Kobe for three. Well short, rebound Michael Crowell. And the steal by the Broncos, Larry up and fouled. We'll go to the line. Heads up play by Tiedemann in the backcourt. We'll get a second look at it. That's just a good heads up play. So Larry will go to the line, 63% free throw shooter. Second turnover is something they're really going to have to limit if they want a shot tonight. They average about 16 turnovers a game. Larry ties the game at three here in the early going. Larry misses the second. Rebound Vandals. This is Avoro. He'll bring it up. Keone Watson. Inside turnaround. David Jackson is good. Vandals up 5-3. to three. Uh, David, ja David Jackson. He's got his average already. Cross court to Lane for three. No good. Matt Nelson keeps it alive. Eric Lane drives baseline inside to Nelson and he's fouled. Good hands by Nelson to make himself available. Lane's going to take it baseline, beats Watson. Watch Nelson, just gets big and low, gets those hands ready, makes a great catch, he'll shoot some free throws. Nelson misses the first. He's a 61% free throw shooter. As Clyde Johnson checks in for the Vandals, and Matt Bauscher sees his first action for the Broncos. Nelson misses both. Rebound, Jackson. O.J. Avoro. Watson, jump move in the lane, nice move. Hard to believe the little guy can get in there, but my goodness does, he's pretty efficient at it. Anthony Thomas now in the game, handling it. This is Carl. Matt Bauscher wide open for three. Nelson tips it, keeps it alive. 
Larry inside. And it's going to be a travel. Yep, good call by the official. Reggie did a great job of jumping up and getting that pass. Took a little bunny hop at the bottom. And we've got a timeout on the floor. Vandals out to the early lead. 7-3 to three over the Broncos. 15-36 to go here in the first half. Vandals with the ball and a 7-3 to three lead. O.J. Avora over to Keone Watson. Lightning quick and deflected out of bounds and it's going to stay Vandal ball. Clyde Johnson will inbound for the Vandals. Avoro. And we've got a foul away from the ball. It's going to be on Anthony Thomas, his first. And Eric Lane checks back in for AT. And Thomas got caught trying to get over screen, a little too aggressively. Vandals will take it underneath. End of the game is Darren Nagel. David Jackson now. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Clyde Johnson. And he drops his first shot. Vandals up 9-3. to three. Johnson made that look pretty easy. Took it hard on the dribble to the... 15 foot mark, Deshaun jumped up and stuck it. Boise State, one of nine from the field, 0 of four from the three point line, and one of four from the free throw line. Matt Nelson trying to squeeze it into Kobe Carl, goes out of bounds, Bronco ball. Needless to say, they're uh, struggling a bit from the field. 9 1 run by the Vandals. Larry Nelson, tough bank shot goes down. Off the backboard, he's going to take it though. They <laughs> all count the same. Clyde Johnson, David Jackson inside. Nagel can't collect it, but it goes out of bounds off a of Bronco. Credit Matt Bowsher came from the weak side, gave some good help. Probably saved a layup right there. Johnson will inbound, 21 on the shot clock. Vandals up 9-5. Lane on Watson, Broncos will stay in their man. This is Watson. Kicks it out to a Voro for three, air ball, rebound Nelson. Kobe Carl now, nice move to the basket. Larry rebound and put back. Broncos just gutting it out right now. Getting some sloppy buckets. Keep this thing close early. Avoro, Nagel. Watson guarded by Lane. Darren Nagel, that's a two-pointer. No good. Rebound Nelson. Side to Reggie Larry. Bowsher. Larry the jumper. Two pointer on the way. No good. Rebound Nelson. Fresh shot clock for the Broncos. Nelson inside. Gets the put back up and in. Boy, good patience by Larry just to stay with it and continue to battle. We're all tied up at nine. Vandals are uh, wanting to talk about it. 12.48 to go here in the first half. And we're going to keep it here. And the Broncos with a little mini run of them for themselves. Well, mini run led by the big man. Nelson, five rebounds. Larry, seven points. Those two are getting it done. Larry really getting it done offensively and on the boards. Here he goes with a great post move inside. Goes up strong. Doesn't fall. He's just going to go get it. Jump right back over the top and put it back in. Great play by Larry.
Reggie Larry, kind of a jack of all trades, having a big year across the board in his first season after transferring from CSI. Second chance points, the difference for Boise State so far, six. Vandals with only one. Those are hustle plays by the Broncos. So Vandals with the ball. That's Trevor Morris into the game, number 35 for the Vandals. Morris guarded by Anthony Thomas. Jackson trying to get it inside. Broncos steal. It'll stay Bronco ball. Say what? I think Elaine just stole that one right <laughs> there. Watson did not touch that. Lane knew it. He immediately went into his acting routine. Blame Watson. The officials bought it. Anthony Thomas. Thomas rejected Desmond Nuwoki. Vandal's a little more athletic than I think people are giving him credit for. Boucher will inbound with 20 seconds on the shot clock. Lane over to AT. Bauscher, all the way in, draws the foul. Broncos doing a good job of getting to the bucket. Idaho's doing a good job of stopping him. Bauscher takes it hard. He'll shoot a couple free throws. Bauscher banks in the first. Brian. How about that shot? Wow, oh, why? I don't even know what to say about that. Better lucky than My good. Goodness, like I said, they all count the same. He's not going to get any style points for that one. He's but been we're going to struggling it. a little bit this year. 54% from the line and gets one for two. You know, David, I shot around a little bit before the game. This is not a shooter's chip. It is really difficult to. Uh... Well, it's definitely not a traditional gym. Morris for three. Vandals with a two-point lead now. Seth Robinson now into the game. This is Eric Lane. Seth with the jumper. Good. Bucket by Robinson. Nice to see him get off to a confident start. Well, it just helps so much when you get that first one to go down. David Jackson, Trevor Morris. Draws the foul. And it's going to go on Anthony Thomas. That's his second. AT got beat on the dribble. It's all he could do was to foul him to save that layup. So we have a stoppage of play here. All evened up at 12 apiece. 11-19 to go in the first half. Back here at the Cowan Spectrum in Moscow. All tied up at 12, midway through the first half. Good little uh, group there of Vandal students supporting the program. Good turnout tonight for the Vandal fans. But David Boise State kind of getting it done the old fashioned way. Six points in the paint, six points off second chances, four points off of turnovers. Hasn't been the traditional run your offense, knock down a jump shot, get a little post move. Trevor Morris knocks down his first free throw, and he's two for two. Vandals up 14 to 12. Watson on Carl, a clear mismatch. Watson giving up probably seven or eight inches and about 50 pounds. Eric Lane. Here's Kobe. Over to Robinson. Carl again working on Keone Watson. This is Bauscher. Matt Nelson, spin move and a foul. It's going to go again, Desmond Nwoki. Yeah, 
Broncos inbound, fresh shot clock. Kobe Carl drives with the left hand, gets the roll. Boy, pretty shot by Kobe. I think he was he thought he was gonna finish that with his right. It, it Vandals took it away from him. Just switched to his left. Little baby finger roll. Good play by Kobe. Jackson. Inside to Nowoki. Turn around over Nelson is good. Vandals up two. Nelson, left-handed hook, no good. Rebound, Nowoki. by Bowser on the low block. Again, saved the layup. This is Watson, 15 on the shot clock. When Watson just missed, Morris popping over for that three-pointer. Near steal by the Broncos. Watson on the floor keeps it alive. Morris for three. Rebound, Vandals. Fresh shot clock, but Watson goes right up with the floater. Bronco lead is four. Robinson the rebound. The Vandals lead by four, that is. Nelson goes up, is fouled. As Idaho with the early lead here, 18 to 14, 9-12 to go in the first half. David, again, I think Boise State pretty fortunate to be this close. Really can't buy a bucket. They're getting it done with hustle plays, offensive rebounds. Off a turnover, second chance points. 28% from the field for Boise State so far. Matt Nelson 0 for 3 on free throws as Reggie Larry comes back into the game. Good look at Matt Nelson. Almost 15 points a game and a great, great contributor to Boise State this year. Nelson misses again, rebound Morris. O.J. Avora over to Clyde Johnson. The three-pointer is good. Vandal lead is seven. Kobe Carl draws the foul. He'll shoot two. Idaho fans not happy. Led by George Pfeiffer. He came flying off the bench asking for an offensive foul on Kobe. Hey, 7-0 run by the Vandals. Chance for Kobe Carl to cut it. Carl hits on his first free throw. And George Pfeiffer hot over there on the bench. Motioning the elbow move, saying the Broncos uh, had the elbow on the offensive foul. Yeah, he can argue all he wants. He's not going to get it changed, and he shouldn't, because it was a good call by the officials. And Kobe knocks his two free throws down, and that's how it should be. So the Broncos back within five. Interesting look here by Boise State. Little one, two, two, three quarter court. Again, just to get the Bronx, the Vandals out of their normal routine. Darren Nagel misses the three. And it worked. Got Nagel to jack up the three. And Colby called for traveling. Kobe asking for a little leniency there, and they finished the set no. You bobbled it. Got to call it. Eight and a half minutes to go here in the first half. This is Keone Watson. Darren Nagel. Watson has not shot a three yet. That's unusual. Right That's there. his first. He banks it in. Wow. Wow. It's not going to be one of those nights, is it, David? Vandal lead is eight. 
Reggie Larry, mid-range jumper, no good. Rebound Clyde Johnson. Here comes Watson. Naroki working on Matt Nelson. Goes up hard and gets fouled. We've got a timeout on the floor, 7.42 to go. The Vandals out to an early lead. They are up eight. Plan to be with us this coming Thursday. We head back to Taco Bell Arena for a matchup between the Bronco women and the Aggies of New Mexico State. That's Thursday night, live, 7 o'clock, only on 24-7, your official home of the Broncos. Back here at Cowan Spectrum, 7.42 to go. Vandals up eight, and Desmond Nuwoki at the line, shooting two. Well, David, the Broncos have gone stone cold. No field goals in the last three minutes. Idaho on a 10-2 run. Milwaukee misses the first. Gets the second. Vandal lead now is nine. Well, Broncos really need to execute their offense and just get a good old-fashioned jump shot and knock it down. They haven't had one to go yet. Reggie Larry. Good defense by Idaho. A lot of energy. They're flying around out there. Tyler T to minute of the game. This is Lane inside to Matt Nelson. This is Larry. Pretty clear. Broncos want to go inside to Nelson. Ten on the shot clock. Nelson, the jumper, is good. Nice soft touch by Nelson. Can't pass that up. If they're going to give it to you, you got to jump up and stick it. Make him come guard you. Because if you don't shoot that, inside's not going to be open. Nelson's not going to have a chance down low. Morris, three-pointer is up. Rebound, David Jackson. And Morris got away with the travel. Lucky he didn't get a whistle on that before that shot. Darren Nagel hits. Handles up nine again. This is Eric Lane. Tiedemann throws it away. Keon Watson with the steal. Watson rejected by Kobe Carl. Morris for three. Frenetic pace here at the Cowan Spectrum. Wow, it really is. And Idaho just playing with a lot of energy right now. David Jackson. Darren Nagel for three. In and out. Say what, you get the big fella out there knocking down 20-foot jump shots, you got, you got a problem on your hands. Kobe Carl. Alley oop. Vandal or Bronco ball. Excuse well, me. Boise State has got to make sure they don't let Idaho dictate the tempo or have Idaho force the pace here. Boise State needs to control this basketball game. Doesn't matter that you're down a little bit. You play the game you want to play. Reggie Larry. Inside strong move rejected. Keone Watson. Morris for three, no good, rebound. Anthony Thomas, but he loses it out of bounds. Boy, we are really seeing some athletic plays tonight. Larry goes to the hole hard, only to be met by Darren Nagel. Broncos down nine here in Moscow with five and a half to go in the first half. Well, David, the lead could very easily be 15 or 16 if Norris, if Norris would have knocked down some open jump shots. Kobe Carl with a nice turnaround. I think that's a good strategy. Boise State spread the court. Let Kobe have the ball inside. Watson cannot handle him down there. Morris. David Jackson working on Nelson. Rebound Nelson. Kobe Carl down low to Larry. Can't get it. Rebound Nagel. Under 
under five minutes to go. Vandal lead is seven. Watson, 10 on the shot clock. Inside, nice pass to Johnson. Kobe Carl for three, way off. Rebound, Nagel. What a good decision by Idaho to walk it. They're getting good looks out of their set. David Jackson out to Johnson. This is Nagel. Drive inside, wild shot, won't go. Rebound, Nagel. Larry gets it, here's Lane. Broncos fortunate. Got to make a pay. And a blocking foul. George Pfeiffer's jacket comes <laughs> off and onto the ground. I love it. Wow. Pfeiffer he, with the tomahawk and the jacket. <laughs> he wanted the charge and did not get it. And we're going to take a timeout and catch our breaths here, as is George Pfeiffer. His vandals are up nine. Fast paced game so far. The University of Idaho, we can see right here. Lane's going to take it hard to the hole. Is it a block? It is a charge. Let's ask George Pfeiffer. Let's get the reaction of the Idaho coach. What does he think it is? I'm thinking he wanted a charge. <laughs> I think he wanted a charge. Didn't get it. Lane will shoot free throws. So Eric Lane will go to the line and. George Pfeiffer's team up nine, so obviously he knows critical for them to maintain this lead, but Lane will try to eat into it here with 3.49 to go. Oh, David, and again, I'll say it, I think Boise State fortunate to really be this close. 29% from the field for the Broncos really haven't executed well, and they're right, they're right in it. Not a big deal. Down eight, haven't played that well, nothing to worry about. 15 points off the bench for Idaho, three for Boise State. Lane gets them both, the lead now is seven for Idaho. Well, this is a big possession defensively by Boise State. This crowd really wants in it. A hold and a bucket by the Broncos. They go a long way right here. Morris, this is Watson. Anthony Thomas now is guarding Watson. Watson, this is a three-pointer, it's good. But Watson with 10. Kobe Carl. Larry, guarded by Nagel. Rebound Nagel. Great move by Larry, just didn't get it to go. Vandal lead is 10 with three minutes to play here in the first half. Now Coach Cleary before the game, he told us, he said, this is really going to be a tough game for us. And we got another foul on Anthony Thomas. That's his third. Kenny Wilson enters the game. Watson to inbound, fresh shot clock for Idaho. Keone Watson with the spin, can't get it to roll in, rebound Nelson, this is Carl. Last touch by the Vandals. The Broncos will retain possession. Broncos without a three-point field goal yet. Unusual for them. Inside to Nelson. Nelson working on Nagel. Nice move with the right hand. That's the Vandal lead to eight. Boy, that's just good execution. I'd say, well, Boise State executes two or three of those in a row. It will really open things up for the shooters. Let them let them get their feet under them. Chance to 
Hone in. Nagel inside, uncontested. Broncos quickly the other way. Kenny Wilson rejected. Well, we have seen some athletic plays on defense by the Vandals. Under two minutes to go. Vandals up 10. The crowd is into it. This is Morris. Throws it away. Kenny Wilson. It's a lane for the finish. Boy, you don't know what a great play that was by Wilson. He kept it long enough just to put his body in between the defender so he could give it to Lane for the uncontested layup. That was a smart play by Kenny Wilson. David Jackson. Fly Johnson for three. Rebound Reggie Larry. Boy, a bucket here would be nice for BSU. Kobe Carl for three, no good. Rebound David Jackson. Vandals will bring it up slow, under a minute to go. Clyde Johnson. Trevor Morris for three. In and out, rebound Nelson. Boy, Morris has had three of them just in and out. Near turnover for the Broncos. Lane for three, and hits it. Big three for Eric Lane. Broncos within five. That was a big three for Boise State. Way to go, Eric Lane. So the Vandals will hold it here with 10 seconds to go. This is Keone Watson. David, that's the first three-point bucket for the Broncos. Watson for three. Long range is good. Wow. That was a big three. Answering Lane's three at the buzzer. Puts the Vandals back up by eight in a very entertaining first half, and the Vandals definitely game. That's a momentum shot. Here we go, Eric Lane. First great look the Broncos have had. Knocked it down. Looked like the, the momentum was coming to Boise State's way. Not the case. Watson answers on the other end. All right, we'll send it to Boise for a news update and then be back here in Moscow to recap the first half. Idaho with a 37-29 lead. This is 24-7. You're watching a Bronco sports presentation on digital channel 7.2. Enjoy the excitement of BSU Bronco basketball right here on 24-7. We are back at the Cowan Spectrum in Moscow and the Idaho Vandals with a halftime lead over Boise State, 37-29. Let's check out the first half highlights and uh, some good highlights if you're a Vandal fan. And early on, Keone Watson with a nice floater. He had 13 points and the Vandals doing it on defense as well. Desmond Nuwoki with one of four blocks in the first half for Idaho. Reggie Larry with a big game for the Broncos in the first half. Actually. We've got Eric Lane there for three at the end of the half. And then Keone Watson answers at the buzzer to put Idaho on top, 37-29. Here's your first half stats. Well, David, Boise State really hasn't played poorly. They just can't put it in the basket. 11 of 33 from the field, 50% from the line, not good enough. One of eight from the three-point line. Only turned it over four times, 25 boards. Are not playing bad, only down eight. They'll play better. I still like Boise State's chances. All right, here's your team leaders for the Broncos. Reggie Larry, as I mentioned. Kobe Carl with eight points. Keone Watson, the high scorer in the game, 13 points on three of three shooting from three-point land. Also, Clyde Johnson pitching in with seven. Vandals out in front here at the half, 37-29. We'll have the second half tip coming up from Moscow after this. Join me in welcoming in midcourt members of Angelina's family as members of the Spear Squad present a small token of appreciation for everything Angelina has done while representing her family, Vandal Athletics, and the University of Idaho. Halftime ceremony here in Moscow for cheerleader Angelina Cabrera Payette. She was uh, 
taken in an automobile accident during Christmas break and a nice ceremony here in her memory for the Vandals. And back here, ready for the second half. Vandals lead 37-29. Broncos looking to get back into it and really showed some signs there in the late in the first half. But to the Vandals' credit, Keone Watson with that big three-pointer kind of answered the surge there for the Broncos. Yeah, David, it was a big answer by Watson. But, you know, again, Boise State just has not played well. They've let Idaho dictate the tempo. They're only down eight. I don't feel, I wouldn't feel too bad about that. They will play better in the second half. So here we go, David Jackson to inbound it for the Vandals, and we are underway here in the second half. Kenny Wilson gets the start for Boise State in the second half. Keone Watson guarded by Lane. Watson. Ten on the shot clock. This is Nagel. And we've got a foul on the Vandals. It'll go the other way. Good job defensively by Boise State. Lane did a good job of keeping Watson out. <laughs> Greg Graham happy with that call. Five for nine. I told the official at halftime. I said, you know, he can take his jacket off. Don't let him take his shirt off. <laughs> Five for not happy already. Steal from Watson and he loses it. This is Larry. Kobe Carl. Difficult pass out to Lane. Goes up and in. Oh, good play by Lane again. Boise State doesn't need to do anything fancy here. Just solid basketball. Take care of it. Don't turn it over. You'll get your shots. They have to stay very patient here, both offensively and defensively. And we've got a hold. It looks like it's going to go against Matt Nelson inside. That is the second foul on Nelson. Vandals will inbound. Idaho up six. Broncos will stay with their man-to-man. -man. Very rarely do they play anything else. That's a guy you want to guard. Watson left open, in and out. Nelson rebound. Well, that's not a guy you want to leave wide open. Lane, that's a two-pointer. No good. Rebound Nelson, Reggie Larry. Watson keeps it alive. Watson will bring it up. Interesting move by Idaho. They're choosing to slow it down a little. The last two possessions have been more of a tempo for them. Nagel inside, doesn't go. Larry rebound. Cody Carl draws the foul. Parting of the Red Sea here. Kobe sees the opening, gets contact first. Always a good offensive move. Make sure you at least get to the line, then try to score after. He'll shoot two. And Idaho calls a timeout. Coach Pfeiffer wants to discuss things. David, interesting halftime we had. Of course, you talked about the, uh, the ceremony we had. And followed by that was the football coach. The Rob football Avey. coach at Idaho State came out, followed by the team, and uh, conducted uh, conducted a little pep rally right here. Rob Akey getting the fans excited here at the Cowan Spectrum, and let's take a look at Lane's last shot here inside. Tough move for the little guy, and he gets it to go. Yeah, you know, Lane might have might be the guy tonight that keeps him close and, and gets it done for Boise State. He's playing very smart. And that was a big finish for him to go in against the tall timber and get that to go. Eighteen fourteen to go, just underway in the second half. And the Vandals continue to lead this game. They've led most of the way. They're up six. Kobe Carl will be going to the free throw line for the Broncos, shooting two. Carl, the, one of the better free throw shooters for the Broncos, 84%. Knocks down the first.
second one is up and through. David, those two free throws, uh, Kobe just moved into first place on the all-time attempts record. In second place. Michael Crowell up with the shot and is fouled. And that one goes against Matt Nelson. That is his third. I like the look by the Broncos. After the second free throw, they came with a little full court pressure. I like when they mix things up like that. It makes the other team think that typically it just throws them out of rhythm a little bit. And Matt Nelson will take a seat with those three fouls. Michael Crowell will go to the line for Idaho. And there is that graphic, what you were talking about, Brian. Kobe's in pretty good company right there. Steve Connor, of course, one of the great Bronco guards, and Tanaka Beard, potentially one of the greatest big men that's ever played at Boise State, and still playing overseas. So Kobe in good company. Crowell misses both free throws. Rebound Reggie Larry. Boy, two big misses. Boise State on a 4-0 run. Chance to build on that. Broncos within four. Kenny Wilson for three, and it's oh. good. Kenny Wilson has been 0 for 2007. He has really struggled. That was a big jumper by Wilson. Boise State within one. Crowell on the wing. David Jackson. Keone Watson now. Guarded by Eric Lane. Job by Eric Lane using his size and his quickness on Watson. Six on the shot clock. Avora over to Watson. Tough move, no good. Rebound, Larry. Well, that's a strong rebound by Larry. Broncos with the ball. Chance to take the lead for the first time since 12:06 in the first half. Oh, I like the matchup, Carl. Watch out. Reggie Larry with a nice behind the pass, behind the back pass from Kobe Carl. Well, you know I don't like those passes, but my goodness, it's going to look good right here. Laying off a high, Carl off a high pick to Larry. We know what's going to happen when he catches it there. Broncos take the lead with a big bucket by Larry. 38-37, Broncos on top. 9-0 run. They're doing it with defense. David Jackson passes on the three. Clyde Johnson. Keone Watson for three and a big one. Here come the Broncos. Reggie Larry loses it out of bounds. And here comes the Vandals. They're coming right back at them. Avoro over to Watson. I think if I'm guarding Watson, I'm just not going to let him catch it because he's really hard to defend once he's got it. I'd shut that lane and he wouldn't catch it the rest of the night. Here's Watson, puts up another three. In and out. Robinson, rebound. This is Carl. Kenny right. Wilson, dish to Larry and the foul. Didn't go in, he'll go to the line shooting two. Can you sense a higher intensity on the defensive end for the Broncos oh, here in the second half? Absolutely. I'm sure uh, Coach Graham had a few choice words to say at halftime. Whatever it was, it has seemed to work. And that's Broncos getting it done much better, much more effectively on both ends. Larry going to the line, shooting two. 63% free throw shooter. Well short on that one. Matt Bauscher checks in for Kobe Carl now. Larry misses both. David Jackson pulls it down. Boy, Broncos really struggling from the free throw line. OJ Oforo. The issue, 8 of 16 from the charity stripe. Desmond Nwoki over to David Jackson. Keone Watson is on the bench right now. They'll slow it down, 10 on the shot clock. Clyde Johnson. 
Interesting to see who steps up for the Vandals. Tough baseline shot for David Jackson. Vandal lead back up to four. Kenny Wilson with a nice move. How about Kenny Wilson? Two big buckets and a great dish to Larry. We've been waiting for Kenny Wilson all season. This might be his breakout game. Inside to Nwoki. Working on Larry. Won't go. Rebound. Reggie Larry. This is Eric Lane. Well, I think why Watson's on the bench. Boise State has got to capitalize here. Bowsher out to Wilson for three. And Wilson is getting hot. Kenny Wilson getting it done for Boise State. Broncos back up by one. This is a very critical possession at an early point in this basketball game. Take the wind out of the Vandal sails if they can get a stop and a bucket here. And a steal by Seth Robinson. Stop. Showtime. Here's the bucket. Idaho better get a timeout. Broncos now up three. Vandals may want to regroup here. I think they're waiting for the media timeout, which will come on the next dead ball. You think that's a mistake? I think it's a mistake. You don't want to give up a bucket right here. This is Clyde Johnson. Another steal. The Vandals not the same team without Keone Watson. This is Wilson. He'll slow it down. Under 14 to go. See Coach Graham asking him to back it out. Let's run our stuff. Get the shot we want. Bowsher. Wide open. Kenny Wilson. Won't go. Rebound of Vora. Boy, how big a bucket would that have been? Broncos up three. Trevor Morris. And it's going to go off Seth Robinson. And that'll stop the clock. And a timeout on the floor with 13.22 to go. Broncos up 45-42. Different half, different basketball game, different team. David Kenny Wilson with eight off the bench. There you see the tail of two halves. Vandals to inbound. Crowell. Keone Watson back into the game. Well, imagine that. A wise move. Wise move to get Watson back in. Watson, oh. a difficult shot, but draws the foul. And he is a good little player that makes things happen. Yeah, Kobe's asking Watson right now, did I foul you? Was it was soft. So Watson will go to the line. The senior from San Diego, 74% free throw shooter. Knocks down the first. Vandals within two. His first free throw of the game. First attempt. I think a guy that gets inside so much would get to that free throw line a little more. Knocks them both down, Idaho within one. Kobe Carl for three. Short. Seth Robinson loses it out of bounds. Good hustle play by Robinson to keep that ball alive. That's what you need to see out of Boise State all evening. You're going to have to make that second effort. That's what got the Vandals. The big lead at halftime is continual second efforts. Inside to Nwoki. And a foul away from the ball called on Matt Bauscher. That'll be the first on Bauscher. Vandals will inbound it. Broncos again will stay in their man. Watson, 18 points already tonight for Watson. Boy, if I was Bowser, I'd step into that passing lane. Don't let Watson have it back. The Vandals do not operate well when he doesn't touch the basketball. Three-pointer from Trevor Morris is no good. Rebound Crowell. And Crowell travels. 
Seth Robinson made that call for the official. They had him doubled. Crowd moved his feet. Again, Watson on Carl. I'd like to see Kobe get himself to the low block to receive a pass somehow. Watson cannot handle him in the low block. Reggie Larry working on Nwoki. Won't go. And it's going to go the Vandals way. Get good hustle play by Robinson. That's okay. Fighting to keep that ball alive. Boy, Reggie Larry got a good look at the basket and again just could not get it to drop. Bronco leads still one, so really Boise State really unable to get that separation right now. With 12 minutes to go, Eric Lane is back in the game. Kobe Carl takes a seat. An unusual lineup for the Broncos. Lane, Robinson, Bowser, and Wilson. With Reggie Larry underneath. Trevor Morris, guarded well by Wilson. Nwoki. And they're going to get tied up. Possession Bronco arrow ball. goes to Boise State. I'll tell you what, if George Pfeiffer gets any more animated over there, we may have to get the paramedics on hand. 11.43 to go. Boise State up by one. Our next telecast of Bronco men's basketball will come your way on Wednesday, February 7th. Once again, it's the Broncos versus the Idaho Vandals. This time at Taco Bell Arena, round two. Be sure to join us for the complete coverage live at 7 p.m. on Wednesday, February 7th. That's right here on 24-7, your official home of the Broncos. Broncos need to get this one first before they can think about round two in Boise. 11.40 to go. They're up one. Reggie Larry, Kobe Carl for three, gets that one to go. 13 points now for Kobe. Kobe took a little more time on that jump shot, really lined it up. It was a big risk, got it to go. Big hoop by the senior guard. Bronco lead is four. Michael Crowell out to Desmond Nwoki. This is Keone Watson. Good job by Lane. Well, I wish the viewers could see the look on Eric Lane's face. He is in to Watson. It's very serious for him right now. Watson, a long three, doesn't hit the rim. Rebound Broncos. Great defense by Lane. Forced him into a bad situation. Lane for three, and it's good. Broncos up seven. I tell you, the Bronco guards are getting it done. Kenny Wilson, Eric Lane, Kobe Carl, they're shooting them back in it. So the Vandals now want to talk about it. They call a timeout. 10.36 to go. Boise State getting hot. Lane with 12. Carl with 13. Larry has 11. Pretty gutsy shot by Lane after the great defensive play. Thinks about it. Boom. Great play by Lane. 13-2 run by Tim Cleary and the Broncos. There you go. And you know, Brian, as you were mentioning, since the second half started, they really have imposed their will with more energy on the defensive end, and that's carried over to the offense. Well, this is a much different basketball team. I would have loved to have been in that locker room and listened to that halftime speech because whatever Coach Graham and his staff said, these guys have listened. Boise State getting it done in all areas. 22-7 to in the second half. Broncos. So the Vandals now try to answer. This is O.J. Avoro. Michael Crowell. David Jackson. Deflected by Kenny Wilson. Vandals will get it with 17 on the shot clock. And David, Idaho is going to have to have somebody other than Watson and Nagel step up. Boise State coaches knew that. They knew those guys would get there. Their fear was somebody else would go off. That hasn't happened yet. 
And right now, the five players on the floor for the Vandals, Watson has 18 points. The rest of the players have 11. All four combined. As Avoro there is fouled from behind, Kenny Wilson. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, that is okay to get that foul. You got five to give. I'd rather see the aggressive play. Prowl for three, no good. Rebound Broncos. Eric Lane. Carl trying to alley you. Vandals touched it. Great idea. Larry was on the same page, just didn't have time to get his timing and his, his uh, quick step down. Wichita State playing with a lot of confidence right now. They need to play smart. Carl, tough yeah. shot, almost went in. Wow, that was really close to being an incredible highlight. Well, Kobe realized he had Watson on his back, and again, he's got 8 inches and 50 pounds on him. Clearly a mismatch. So Kobe will go to the line, 84% free throw shooter. That's his 14th point on the night. Kobe's got some fans in the crowd tonight. We love Kobe signs. Flashed around. Bronco lead is nine. Some very colorful signs in the audience tonight. <laughs> yes, there is. Darren Nagel. Boy, Nagel has been very quiet the second half. Not a lot of touches. Crowell blocked by Carl. Rejected. Eric Lane, the Broncos now starting to pull away. Lane misses the three. Kenny Wilson keeps it alive. Well, what a great time to pull this out and make the Vandals defend. Under new, 10 minutes to go. New shot clock, a lot of time. Robinson fouled before making his move to the basket. Boy, Seth was just a textbook classic ball fake. Crossover dribble, got himself a wide open layup. That was perfect execution. Kobe Carl will inbound, fresh shot clock. A tough pass in to Reggie Larry, but he's fouled by Nagel. Boy, and a, uh, a risky pass at best. I'm not sure I'd throw that one again. No advantage for him to catch the ball there. So Carl over to Wilson this time. Kenny Wilson with a nice drive. Rebound Nagel. Abroyo. Nagel, baseline, wild shot, rebound Robinson. Here comes Kobe Carl. Rocco lead is 11. That's the biggest of the game. Alley used for the Vandals, way off target. Robinson pulls it down. This is Kobe Carl. Lane for three. Rebound Johnson. Broncos getting it done on both ends. Idaho has no answer right now. Watson. Dishes to Jackson, and he's fouled. Watson trying to just take this game over and make something happen. The Broncos holding him off. Seven minutes and ten seconds since the Vandals have had a field goal. That's a drought. So David Jackson will go to the line. Vandals trail by 11. Makes it a 10 point game now as Matt Nelson checks back in. Interesting to see if Idaho doesn't mix it up here on a made free throw. They might want to come with pressure. Jackson cuts the lead to nine. Matt Bauscher back into the game to spell Eric Lane. Bauscher, Carl, and Wilson. Robinson and Nelson in the blocks. 
Kobe Carl bring it up, approaching the eight minute mark. You see the Boise State big man at the high post. They're getting the guards down low and dragging Idaho's big man out top. Seth Robinson, rebound Basher. And it goes out of bounds, Mandels will get it back. Basher dribbled it off his own foot. So it's 7.53 to go here in the second half from Moscow. Broncos up nine. The attendance announced tonight here at the Cowan Spectrum, 3,084, a nice crowd on hand. Very loud crowd in the first half, not as loud so far in the second. O.J. Avoro throws it away, intended for Clyde Johnson, Kobe Carl now. Matt Bauscher wide open for three. Get in there. Seth Robinson with the follow. Boy, Robinson has just really been active tonight. He is earning some playing time. And the Vandals have just really hit a brick wall on the offensive end. Their the, drought continues. The drought continues, and now Watson trying to get it done by himself. And when that happens, the other four guys just kind of stop. Milwaukee, another turnover, near turnover, gets it back. Watson for three. And he nails it, and they needed that. Broncos need to answer. Oh. Kobe Carl, it will not count. The foul came before the shot. It'll be one and one at the free throw line for Kobe. Boy, Broncos pushed it up quick. Yeah, that's what Kobe's really good at. Is he, when he sees a lane, he gets it and goes. Not sure why that doesn't count. High off the glass. Kobe shooting one and one. That's the first. And the next one's a big one. If he makes it, he'll move up to second on all the all-time Boise State made free throw list. And he does. Kobe Carl now with 19 points. And there you see that graphic. Second place all-time. Trevor Morris fouled by Kenny Wilson. That is the second foul on Kenny Wilson. And Morris will go to the line shooting one and one. He is a 75% free throw shooter. Matt Bauscher takes a seat. Good. It's a nine-point game. Nine-point game with six minutes, 41 seconds to go. That's a lot of time. A lot of basketball left. Morris gets both. The lead is eight for the Broncos. Vandals have switched it up. Clyde Johnson, six foot seven. On Carl, they've taken Watson off of him. Watson will defend Lane. Matt Nelson. Oh, Seth good ball fake by Seth Robinson. With the left hand, gets the foul. Boy, if we can get a second look at that. Robinson with a classic ball fake. It's the second time he doesn't watch it. Little head fake, boom. Switches it to his left. David, I don't know how we're going to pick the Subway Sub of the game tonight because I'll tell you what. It's a tough call. Kenny Wilson's been great. Kenny Wilson has been solid. And Seth has really been very effective. Makes it a three-point play. Broncos now up 11. Nine points for Seth Robinson. This is Clyde Johnson. Vandals down 11. Keone Watson guarded by Lane. Watson pull up, rainbow, no good, rebound Nelson. Boy, there was four Broncos to rebound that basketball. 
Wilson draws the foul on Nwoki. Boy, this is the best game Kenny Wilson has had in a long time. Oh, my Very positive sign for the Broncos. Boy, it is. They needed somebody like Kenny Wilson and Seth Robinson to step, step up. That makes this team very dangerous when these two guys are coming in and playing with the energy and getting 8 to 10 points off the bench. This is a big, big deal for the Broncos. Wilson hits the first. He's the best free throw shooter on the team, 89%. Idaho just has had no answer offensively or defensively for the Broncos. How about that? Wilson, 100% free throw shooter in the whack oh. and misses his first. Nine points for Wilson. Bronco lead is 12. That's the biggest of the game with 540 to go. Watson inside, and Morris draws the foul on Matt Nelson, and that'll be four on Nelson. Boy, it was a solid play by Nelson, too. He read it. He got weak side to give help. Just got there a split second too late. So Reggie Larry quickly back into the game for Nelson, who goes out with four fouls now. Trevor Morris goes to the line. Morris perfect from the line tonight, four of four. Make it five of five. Eight points for Morris. Pretty good stroke, six four, 175 pounds out of Missoula, Montana. Six for six. Boy, how did the Grizz let him get out of there? And the Bronco lead back down to 10. Reggie Larry with the ball, foul away from the ball. Boy, Kobe just baited him. Clyde Johnson took the bait. Foul. Wow. Well acting by Kobe on that one. Got him to the line though. That was on Clyde Johnson as Kobe with 19 points. Looks to add to that total with his team up 10. <laughs> 20 points for Kobe Carl. Nine of nine from the free throw line tonight. Gets them both. Broncos back up by a dozen. 5.13 to go here in the second half. And we're going to keep it here. With the Broncos looking to close this out, it would be their 11th win of the season. But still a lot of time on the clock, Ryan. In the last road game we did, we learned that the hard way. That's exactly right. I'm not saying anything until that buzzer sounds. But you have to love the way... The Broncos have really come out determined here in the second half as George Pfeiffer goes to work with the clipboard. A oh, very dominating performance in the second half by Boise State. And again, I don't know what Greg Graham said to him at halftime, but whatever it was, he better bottle that thing and take it to every game with him because it has worked. They have executed to perfection offensively and defensively. And again, it would be a very big win on the road for the Broncos. Even though Idaho's struggling, they have played very well as of late here at home. And they're showing why, because they really have been game. They've just kind of run into a little bit of a buzzsaw here in the second half. The Broncos playing very well. Clyde Johnson over to Keone Watson. Seth Robinson with the easy steal, and the Broncos back on offense. Broncos switching defense is just really frustrated. Robinson really feeling it tonight. Well, I'll tell you what, that's the third perfect head fake and ball fake by Robinson. You'd think the guy would get it by now. That's the third time and he has perfected that move. we got to get a second look at that. Watch this. Boom. Nope, I'm not going to shoot it. I'm going to shoot that one. 
Just a great sequence overall. He gets the steal on the other end, brings it down on offense. And now with 11 points in the game for Seth Robinson, and he just got dialed up for his first foul. Well, David, you get Kenny Wilson, Seth Robinson, A.T., you get those guys playing with some consistency to match the other Broncos who've been getting it done all season. My goodness, you've got a very good team down the stretch in whack play. And a very deep team, and that was a technical foul. Not sure what the infraction was. <laughs> Trevor Morris having a nice game. Rattles in the second free throw. That's 11 points for Morris. So the Vandals. Sorry, David. 21 points off the bench for Boise State tonight. So the Vandals with under five minutes within 12 and have the ball. Watson. Keone Watson. Tough shot, won't go. Dwight Johnson keeps it alive. Watson, baseline drive, wild shot, rebound Larry. Lane for three, passes on that. Inside to Larry. Nagel with a big rejection. Morris for three, no good. Kobe Carl slows it down. Broncos in no hurry here with a 12 point lead. State's post will move high. Kobe Carl for three. Boy, Kobe's really making it look easy all of a sudden. 24 for Carl. Coming off 21 against Fresno at home Thursday night. Timeout for the Vandals. George Pfeiffer wants to talk about it as the Broncos now have their biggest lead of the game. They are up 15 with three minutes to go. And of course, Cody Carl is really taking charge. Little rub off a high pick, just grabs it. Nothing but net for Carl. Great outing so far for the senior. So the Broncos on their way to their second road win of the season. And uh, you're watching this game, of course, on 24-7. We'll have a live post-game report on the News at 10 on Idaho's News Channel 7 as the Broncos look to close it out here and things looking pretty good with three minutes to go. They're up 15. Broncos and Vandals. Nagel for three. Rebound Larry, another rebound for Reggie. And Boise State controlling the boards. Wilson a reverse inside, rebound Nagel. And a reach in for Wilson, that'll be his third foul. And we're gonna take a timeout. 2.39 to go in this one. Broncos in control. Tonight's Subway sub of the game is senior forward Seth Robinson. What a game. 11 points, 5 rebounds, 5 of 6 from the field, and a few steals as a little extra bonus. Seth Robinson is our Subway sub of the game. Subway, eat fresh. And Kenny Wilson also with a nice game off the bench. Boy, those two guys have really, really been a spark plug for the Broncos tonight. Of course, they just got everybody else going. All of a sudden, Kobe started dominating. Eric Lane hit big jump shots. 
nicely done by Wilson and Robinson tonight. Nagel connects on the first free throw. Second one is good. Broncos up 13. Here comes the pressure by Idaho. They'll look to run a jump. Watson on Carl. I don't know why he's on him. Eric Lane. Again, no hurry here for the Broncos. 20 on the shot clock. Robinson. Out to Kobe. That's a three-pointer. No good. Kenny Wilson with the rebound. Fresh shot clock. Boy, Reggie Larry was looking for the lob right there. He was pointing up. Under two minutes to go. Wilson. Look for the handoff to the corner. Here comes a high pick. Out to Reggie Larry. That's a three-pointer, and it's good. 19 points for Reggie Larry. He's got a double-double tonight. He also has 11 rebounds. Boy, when it rains, it pours. Reggie Larry gets the three. Or check that. He's got 14 points now and 16 rebounds. So 16 rebounds for Reggie Larry now and 14 points. Yeah, the only thing we haven't seen out of him is the ferocious dunk. We've seen a pretty good one, but not, uh, not like we're used to seeing out of him. Broncos in a stacked set. Two on two on the high post. Eric Lane, the reverse, followed by... Who else? Seth Robinson. 13 points now for Seth. Well, yeah, the Vandals have mailed it in. Coach Pfeiffer might as well clear the bench. Time out for Coach Pfeiffer. Under a minute to go. Broncos up 75-57. So the Broncos on their way to victory. It'll be the second road win of the season for Boise State. another look at Seth Robinson. Well, you called it the subway sub of the game. Seth comes from the high post, grabs the offensive board, lays it in. Tremendous game by Seth Robinson tonight. So the Broncos will improve to 11 and 8, 5 and 3 in the WAC. And up next, a pretty difficult trip to New Mexico State. That's on the 31st. And in fact, the next two games are on the road for the Broncos at New Mexico State, at La Tech, and then their next home game is against these same Vandals on the 7th. Well, that's going to be a very difficult road trip. Heading to Las Cruces, Reggie Theus has got him playing 15 out of their last 16, I believe. Winding it down here in Moscow. Again, we'll have a live report on the news at 10, so you'll want to click over to channel 7 after this one's done and the Broncos are just gonna wind it down here Kobe Carl out to Larry just a tenth of a second difference from the shot clock to the game clock. And we've got one second left on the game clock, and that's going to pretty much will inbound it. And if you're that guy right there, you got to be pretty happy about the second half, the execution, the hustle that your team just put in. Greg Graham's got to be very pleased with these guys. Great second half by the Broncos. And that's going to do it. The Boise State Broncos win their 11th in a row against in-state rival Idaho. Greg Graham has never lost against the Vandals. He's 9-0 in his career as a Boise State head coach. There you see it. The final, Boise State 75, Idaho 57.
We'll be back to wrap it up from Moscow coming up right after this.